Hi Stampers, I'm Meg from Woven Stamps and I have a wonderful romance project to share with you. This one actually features a really simple layout that is terrific and can apply to lots of different stamp sets. Um, it includes an embossed background and then a banner layer. So really pretty simple here, but I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to um, combine these things with a little bit of embellishment on the corner to just set off the layout. So grab your supplies, uh, stamps in the mail kits are available, and let's get stamped. So for our kit, we can just set aside our directions and pull out the pieces that are provided. And the card base for this kit is Whisper White, so I'm just going to go ahead and fold this half sheet in half. And then the prettiest layer of this, honestly, is the Country Floral Embossing Folder layer. So this is done with the Country Floral Embossing Folder, which is available through the end of March as a celebration selection, um, but then will return in the new catalog when it comes out. And you can choose whether you want the paper to go this direction or this direction. Honestly, I think it's beautiful in both directions. And my tip for using um, embossed paper like this is to make sure that you use a really strong adhesive on the back because since the um, folder goes both up and down, there's actually relatively little surface area for your adhesive to grab onto. And so um, by using Stampin' Dimensionals or Tear Tape or Fast Fuse, um, you know that you have enough um, surface area to contact the papers that you'll have a really nice bond between your layers because you don't want them to come apart. So um, you also get a nice shadow layer, um, color on color effect, which is a really um, nice way to use some of these embossing folders when you don't want to add another color just to, to make things that much more um, you know, pronounced. So now I have a piece of the um, Floor Romance Designer Series paper and this, like I said, um, you know, since I'm putting it on the um, layered embossed layer, um, I'm going to go ahead and use tear tape so that I have, again, enough surface area to get a good bond between our layers. And then this is going to go here. And you can put this um, with the angle going this direction or this direction. It's really just to give it a little bit of extra interest. Then I have a strip here of the same paper, but I'm going to flip it to the back side. And one of the things I love about the Stampin' Up! papers is the um, combined um, options that you have with the front and the back side of all the papers matching. Okay, and then I'm going to use a Whisper White piece and stamp our greeting, which is going to be this um, together is a wonderful place to be. And I'm going to stamp that in fresh fig here toward the center of our piece. And then I'm going to use this little tiny um, flower and petal pink and just stamp some of these flowers sort of around the background, off the edges so that it looks like it was cut out of a bigger piece. And then this I'm going to pop on with a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals. And why, why not use Stampin' Dimensionals, right? That little extra layer is a really simple, um, really simple way to add dimension and extra interest. The shadows really make a big difference. Okay, so then we just need an embellishment. So this is a design that you could use for pretty much any card. Any designer series paper, any embossing folder, any greeting that's, that's horizontal like this. And then we're just going to dress it up right here. So when I teach stamping, a lot of times I teach that you stamp you layer and then you embellish. So we've stamped here, we've layered a few times, <laughs> more than a few really, and then we're going to embellish. And these die cuts are from the um, Floral Romance uh, die set. And I'm going to go ahead and pop a couple um, Stampin' uh, mini glue dots here, Stampin' glue dots on the back of these because they're really small and they'll be hidden by our uh, flower once we get it on there. And let's see, I'm going to kind of layer these together so that I make sure that they stick well for us. And then the final thing is this sweet little frosted flower embellishment, which is part of the Floral Romance Suite. And that is just going to pop right there on top. So there we have our finished card. So we stamped, we layered, we embellished, and this is a great way to use a background folder or a um, embossing folder to do backgrounds for cards. Simple designs, simple results, really great way to combine all the pieces from the papers and the stamps and the dies and so forth. So happy stamping. If you'd like to request your uh, Stamps of the Mail Club kit, make sure you check my website at loveandstamps.com. And I look forward to sharing another project with you soon.